It is 6 30 in the morning. It's time to start uh, Thursday's vlog. We're done uh, with Wednesday's vlog. And we are starting where we landed off. I did some gaming, I did some uh, cleaning work in the kitchen. Shut the front door so that the uh, the sun doesn't heat up the front room. I've got everything blocked off so that uh, uh, I don't get too much solar radiation coming in and uh, uh, heating up the area just cooled off. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is going to be a short end. I'm, I'm kind of off in the weeds right now in terms of YouTube. I don't know what I want to do yet. I want to do another half hour before I start taking my sleep breaks. Uh, it's broken up into two parts. I don't know whether I should go more YouTube or should do something uh, within my media library. I haven't decided that yet. Anyways, I said I'm in. I'm, I'm, I've had an in-between day. Not good, not bad, but it doesn't matter what my worth is right now anyway, because still no refunds. <laughs> All right. I need to keep segments short and to see how it sounds or hear how it sounds when it's windy out there's a little bit of a breeze coming by so hopefully uh, the microphone was good enough to handle this bit of a breeze and it's not so bad what you'll also be seeing in the uh, next few videos or actually coming through our notice is uh, graphic overlays and uh, inserted pictures so I'll have to do a graphic overlay this we talk about Yowie vlogs that's where I start my, my YouTube stroll at the Yowie Vlogs. So, there'll be a graphic overlay. And if I need to, to take a picture of, of what's going on, and insert the picture, the picture will come in. Just like that. There's something nice about sitting outside, particularly at night. It's something that I've gotten addicted to in many cases. Uh, I do, I do really enjoy this. I've been doing this mm, since I was a teenager. It started particularly at my grandmother's house. It would be very hot in the house because there was no air conditioner no air conditioning and so the cool off outside you go outside in the evening uh, when the air was cooler and uh, this is how you cool off and make you cool enough so that uh, you can go to bed and have a good sleep uh, this is sort of the same uh, concept same idea I finished basically finished my uh, finished the YouTube stroll in terms of the main people I go by and see that I now have well, I'll go by and check out some side channels and uh, some other different options I found a new family uh, when I was uh, on uh, Instagram uh, I follow some of these uh, the vloggers on Instagram and I found that they were in contact with another family vlog that I didn't know about before called the McInerney family and what's happened is that most of the families out there a lot of the families out there have 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 stopped YouTube as their main job and they've gone back to work and this has happened to a lot of family vloggers a lot of family vloggers really did hit a lot of hard times and so they're no longer daily vlogging daily vlogging is something that's uh, sort of going out of style out of fashion and I said I'm gonna try to do the daily vlog do daily vlogging but I can't guarantee it because it, it, right now this isn't my main source of income what you're seeing is part of a research project my life as Cyborg Alpha, our life as Cyborg Alpha, is the research project I've been working on now for, for close to six years. And it's gotten to the point where you can start seeing uh, what Cyborg Alpha is, how I live online. So I have an online life and I have a real, a real life. A large chunk of the life between online and reality often mesh and, mer and merge to a point where 
it comes within the definition of cyborg. And so this is a cyborg elf. Uh, there is the development of a network called Cyborg Elf. I'm working on a network. There's a number of different ways to do this. I am working on coding the artificial intelligence, but that's also coding the voice, coding uh, eyesight. The, the, the number of coding options that have to come in, in terms of, uh, of the, in terms again, the options are so numerous you simply have to go through the list one by one and everything you have to learn. There's, there's, there, there is basically a schooling at every point. It's sort of, it's sort of like, uh, the only way to describe my middle school is like being, is like uh, being homeschooled. It has, the same, it has the same pattern. Everyone's starting to get ready to go, go back to school. They're all doing the back to school shopping, but uh, uh, mine's the same way, but I'm not actually gonna go to a physical place. What I learn and how I learn, the information is literally spread all over the world. Um, so it's a matter of simply, you know, uh, every September, make sure I have enough hard drive space that I can go out and do the searches that I need to do. And so you get onto your, your, your research chair, and now the research desk, uh, where the, uh, the, where the, um, where the uh, media room is, is, the big screen is now fully functional. It's, it functions as a research desk. And so I can use that when I'm too tired to do anything uh, on, uh, in the main desk. I, can now have, I now have a second desk. I can sort of shift my positions and sort of change the, 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 the way things function. And changing your, changing your environment to every, every once in a while does help refresh the mind, it, it gives you new sight in terms of uh, uh, seeing with new eyes, in terms of really being stuck on a rut and sort of seeing things in a, uh, in a very singular manner. But I think what I'm probably going to be doing tonight is I'll probably, uh, uh, the tonight or tomorrow, we'll see how things go, stay out here until the uh, sun comes up and uh, you'll hear uh, what it's like out here. What you can see from here is that you can't see much of anything. Yet there are animals and birds, there is a lot of nightlife, nocturnal creatures that are around. In addition to, there's a further ahead beyond our vision, there is a, a major railroad track where you can hear the engine and the, and the train come by. And even at certain points time to time, you can hear the uh, dinging of the railway crossing, letting you know that a train is coming by. So this is how you sit out here, you can do observational work and to see and capture different animals on film is extremely difficult. What you have to have is you have to have a good microphone and then you capture the sounds. So your, your observation are, is, is, is acoustic. You, you're using your acoustical senses rather than using your visual senses. Well, we are back for the last stretch of the uh, YouTube uh, stroll. Uh, we're currently at the uh, Mackinac Adventures. I found their channel to be pretty good, but uh, as I said before, they're one of the victims of uh, the shift in trends for YouTube that uh, knocked out Clintus as a daily vlogger. Clintus used to be a daily vlogger, but all the changes that went on uh, uh, that have gone on, he's moved off into uh, on, into Twitch land. So he's only vlogging, uh, his, his, he's only putting up uh, vlogs uh, Wednesdays and the weekends. And a lot of other families that have stopped daily vlogging, they, they, they've just, they come up and announce that we're not going to do daily vlogging anymore. They attempt to, but they find it too difficult, even though this is their main bread and butter. But in many cases, the algorithm shifts that have been going on on, on a weekly basis almost uh, have thrown their income off. So they've had to go out and get other jobs, and this is what's happened here. The, 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 uh, I guess she got a job as a nurse, and she's working at one of the hospitals. And uh, so that's how things are going. But again, as, as life gives you lemons, you try to make lemonade, <laughs> if you want to look at it in that perspective. A lot of people have been hit very hard. Uh, in terms of my situation, uh, my situation has actually gotten better. I found uh, stores in my neighborhood that deliver for food. 
shopping online has actually gotten cheap, made it cheaper for me, uh, uh, less expensive. Because typically when you go shopping, you and this is what you see in a lot of the vlogs when they go shopping into a particular store, you get a lot more than you ever int you intended to buy. Where if you're online, and I typically I spend my my target is whatever whatever gets you free shipping that's the amount you spend. And so when you, I'm typically spending about sixty dollars every two three weeks. So I'm spending uh, close to uh, twenty dollars a week for food, where if I walked into a store, uh, would be paying um, sometimes sixty dollars a week. So in other words, I'd be spending on the impulse buy. I'd be I'd be spending three times more than I'm currently spending now, and I have just as much food. Uh, just as much variety, there's no shortage of anything. It's just more economical. And for me, the happy part is, is that uh, I can now spend more money towards upgrading equipment uh, and working on more projects. Because the now the budget for the project is now there where it wasn't before because it was going out to food. This is kind of, if you're an independent scientist, you're not taking money from the government or from corporations. You're just doing it on from donations. Then that's how you, you're not. You don't have the deep pockets, and you have to be very economical in order to survive. Enough survive thirty years. This is my second version of vlogging. I did vlogging before. Now that this project Cyborg Alpha has come of age, time to bring Cyborg Alpha out. And live life as Cyborg Alpha. Well, I've been doing that for six years, but the time to vlog it as living our life as Cyborg Alpha. And so that's where this where, where this emerges from. You can imagine that this is my uh, this is because now it's fully functional. It's a fully functional research desk. This is this is uh, how I study. This is my home school. This is my middle school. This is tween infinite tween, you know infinite tween. You know, staying in the tween demographics forever. And then is that doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. Whether people think I'm, I'm I'm good or bad or whatever it is, no refunds.